Well, it's that time of the year. Some call it the rainy season, others call it moose season. I just got back from being out at the cabin for a couple of weeks. Some time off did the mine good. Had time to enjoy the fall colors. As you can see, the leaves are starting to fall. Rained just about every day. I think I had a couple of nights one day that was, you know, no rain. Nice. Doesn't really rain hard. It just rains continuous, 24-7. Won't be long. The snow will be coming down here in the lower land. It's getting to be the time where the north winds start to come off the mountains and come from the north. And pretty soon, as you can see, it's snow. The white stuff is creeping down the mountains. It's probably about at the 2,000 foot level. Stops around there. Turns to rain. But it won't be long. It'll be a week or two and it'll be everywhere. So it's time to to get ready for what's coming. Get the ATV put away and put the snow machine out. But I got thinking about uh, a couple of suggestions about starting from the beginning. And this is kind of the beginning right here. This little clip right here is where wife and I kind of made a trail into the land. We bought it. Had to find it by a GPS. The person that was selling it didn't really, they hadn't been out here in 15 years. And the realtor didn't know what it was out. And he wasn't going to come out here and waste his time for his commission, I'm sure. So we found it and uh, purchased it and uh, started clearing with a chainsaw. And as you can see, the, the all the growth and everything, the tundra there, we chainsaw and a shovel just wasn't going to cut it. We found a local guy that was really helpful. We hit it off. We really like them, and hopefully they really like us. <laughs> but, no, he's he's a good guy. And he was able to, he told me he can get it across the swamp and everything without tearing the countryside up uh, with his cat two times a year when the ground's frozen. And there can't be a lot of snow. So some years he can, some years he can't. But he was able to. I think it was April tax day, I think, is when we were able to get in there. And we were able to clear this little area. I think it's about 100 by 100 feet. As you can see, it's springtime. Uh, it's still a little snow there, but it's pretty much all melted now. This might have been even a month later. I think it was May. And uh, so now came the, you know, what do we want? You know, what are we looking at? Where do we want a cabin? You know, all the overgrowth has to be cleared and moved out all that stuff that's pushed off to the side cleaned up a lot of its melted snow or I'm, I'm sorry piled up snow that will melt so it'll be a it would doesn't look that bad but uh it, it was one of those things you know you you kind of know what you want and then once it's cleared you're like wow where do we want the cabin you want it smack in the middle or off to the side and we kind of chose in the in the trees due to shading and a couple other reasons the view and uh, kind of made that our yard out there, as you can see in some of the videos. Little area out front. But this is how it started right here. This is kind of the beginning. But we had time to reflect on this. And and uh, it was kind of interesting to to see how all this came along. Well, it's that time of the year where it's at the end and heading in the snow and wanted to share a little clip here that's going to follow of all the favorite scenes that happen through the year. Hope you enjoy it. 